This Navica webinar will cover the topics of contacts and prospects. Contacts are those people that you put into Navica, so you will have their email address, phone numbers, and contact profile on hand. Prospects are contacts that you have married or assigned a search to and have the system set up to automatically email when new listings come on the market that may match that saved search criteria. So to add a contact or a prospect, we start by going to contacts on the left hand menu. One of the benefits of having someone in as a Navica contact is if you email them listings from Navica and you choose their name from your contacts list, under the notes button to the right of the contact record, we will keep a complete record of every MLS number that you've sent them on what date and time. When you email listings from Navica, they are sent as a link and those links are good for 30 days. So at the end of the 30 days, if you don't know what you sent them, then there was no record of that. Even if you had sent yourself a copy or have it in your sent folder, those MLS numbers themselves have not been recorded. So let me just show you briefly how to email um, once you have someone in as a contact to, to get that notes record. I'm just going to go to search on the left hand menu and I'm going to just run my last run search here. So whenever you go to email one listing or multiple listings, however you email, anyone you have in as a Navica contact with a valid email address in their contact profile will be listed in your contact address book. There all you need to do is highlight their name. Do not worry about the fact that it doesn't put their address in the to line here. Highlighting their name is sufficient and then when you email that, we will keep that notes record of what MLS numbers you sent them on what date and time. If you would like to email multiple contacts, just highlight them by holding down your control key. If you do send the same listing or group of listings to multiple contacts, it will blind carbon everyone so they will not see each other's email address. So just keep in mind if you have someone in as a contact, which you're going to add in just a moment, whenever you go to email, their name will be listed in your contact address book and simply highlight their name, fill out the rest of your information and then choose your email option at the bottom. So back to contacts, to add a contact under the contacts menu item you will click on add contact. You can import or export your contacts as well so if you have them in another product and you can get them into a uh, .csv or .txt file you can use the import option. If you ever need help with that just contact us at technical support and we'll be more than happy to assist you. You can export these into a CSV file, I believe, uh, to use in other products as well. So, but we're just going to click on Add Contact. And here we just fill in the name. So put in their first name. And their last name. And contact type. And email address. And if you happen to have two email addresses, there is an address for the second address. Um, there's a blank spot for that, email address two. And if you have two addresses in, when you email that contact, it will go to both addresses. So fill in as much or as little of this other information as you want. You do have the option here to share this contact with other people in your office. You can approve them all and share it with everyone or just highlight certain people and approve those selected people. Um, that will share the contact profile though. They will then be able to see all of your contacts information. So fill out all of the stuff, you know, like I said, as much or as little of that as you want and then save your contact. They will now be listed in your list of Navica contacts. You can narrow these down by the first letter of the last name. You can search by a name or an email address here. You can filter out just by the contact type. 
you can check individual contacts and click the envelope here on the left to send an email to multiple contacts. You can check certain ones and hit the X to delete that contact. When you delete a contact, everything about them is gone. The notes profile, if there's a search assigned to them, etc. Everything is removed when you choose to delete a contact. You can take an existing contact under the tools options. The first icon allows you to convert that person to a prospect. So you can then do the search and save the search and assign it to that person. You can modify their record by clicking on the second icon under tools. You can send them an email or you can delete that contact. Once again, your notes record will be a record of all the MLS numbers you sent them on what date and time. You can click on add note to add your own personal notes and save and then you've got a cumulative record of all the notes as well as all of the things that you have emailed that person. Say for example that Sally called me and said you sent me some listings a week or so ago I deleted that email can you send them again? Whether it's 1 or 50, I can come here and highlight these MLS numbers that I got by clicking on the Notes button. I'm simply going to click Multitask here on the left-hand menu to open a new Navica window. And then here in my Search Edit Listing options, I will paste those MLS numbers in there. Hit Search. There I can pull those properties up again and email those right back to my client. So it's fairly simple to add a Navica contact. Like I said before, if you already have someone in as a contact and want to make them a prospect, and by prospect I mean assign a search to them and set them up to be automatically emailed, then you can use the Convert to Prospect option. We're going to just go to the My Prospects tab. So everyone you put in is considered a contact. Prospects are contacts that you've also done the extra step of assigning a search or multiple searches to to have the person automatically emailed. So to add a prospect from the very beginning we would go to add prospect, put in a first name, put in their last name, choose your contact type, once more email address and like I said fill in as much or as little of this as you want but the bare minimum for a prospect is name, email address and contact type. Now we're going to hit save. Now because we're setting up a prospect we need to do a search for whatever it is Mike is looking for. So we're going to click on residential. Now we're going to enter the criteria. So Mike wants something between 220 and 280 with a minimum of four bedrooms and a minimum of 2,000 square feet. Typically in whatever other criteria you need to enter there. I usually click on show criteria just to verify my stuff. I've got active, my criteria 220 to 280, four or more bedrooms, 2,000 or more square feet. That's perfect. Now the next step after we enter our criteria is to click on Save Search. Now we're going to fill in our notification settings. So every time that a new listing comes on the market that matches this criteria, Mike will be emailed. So what is the subject? What do I want that to be? Um, listings from Deborah Thompson, you're a realtor. So hey, Mike. If you have a signature in Navica, which you can enter by clicking on your photo in the upper right hand corner, you can tell it to use your signature here at the bottom and you don't have to type in Deborah Thompson, Isa Holmes, whatever your signature, safe signature is there. So once you have your message, do you want us to notify the customer? Meaning, do you want us to notify Mike when new listings come on the market? So most of the time the answer to that would be yes. Um, do you want us to notify you? 
We can also send you an email telling you we notified Mike about which listings and why. Um, we can send you an email and or a text message, so make your decision there. Just note with the texting, you could get those in the middle of the night, so you may just elect to get this via email. Notify when, you can be notified about new listings, price changes, listings that come back on the market, as well as miscellaneous changes. You can determine the frequency, meaning how often do you want us to do that search. If you choose hourly, it does not mean you're going to get an email every hour. We will do the search every hour and only when there is a match will you be notified via email. So choose your appropriate time frame. If someone lives in your area and is ready, willing, and able to buy a home, then hourly is probably the best choice. If you know they're looking for a second home and not going to be moving there for six months or a year, daily or weekly, so choose that. The last thing under other options says allow reverse prospecting. When I turn this on, and this is not available in necessarily, it's in most of our areas, but occasionally there's a board that does not use the reverse prospecting. But for the majority of you, if you check this, in addition to you and your buyer being notified about new listings that come on the market, the listing agent of those properties will get another email. So I, Deborah Thompson, would get an email that says, hey, here's a new listing that matches Mike Smith. Mike will get an email. Hey, Mike, here's a new listing that matches your criteria, you know, with my message. The listing agent of that property would then, if I check allow reverse prospecting, they would get an email that said Deborah Thompson's prospect, not Mike, just 721, it'll give them a, a number, matches your new listing at 123 Sycamore Lane. So in addition to having it notify me, the buyer's agent, my buyer, I'm also telling the system to notify the listing agent of those properties that their listing on paper has matched someone's buyer and who that realtor is, but not who that buyer is. So if you want other agents to be notified when their listings are sent to your buyer or match, then check allow reverse prospecting. Now at this point, we still haven't seen the original results, so we need to click on Save and Get Results. So we're going to go ahead and do that. When we do so, it's going to tell me that these current matches, these 66 properties that match right now, have not been emailed to my prospect. To send all results, I can click this button at the top that says Email All Results to New Prospect. or to send selected results, I need to check the listings I want to send and then use the standard email option at the top. So we give you a notice letting you know that these original matches have not been sent, nor will they be, until you manually send those. So if you wanted to send all of these results, go ahead and click on the button that says Email All Results. Once you do that, they're all sent. They go in the same format as the future notifications with the same message, so they're just, they have been sent. Or, as I said before, you could have went through and placed a checkbox beside of those properties and then choose the email option at the top. But when you hit that email all results button, they have all been sent to that prospect, regardless of if you check them or not. So if you want to pick and choose, check them and choose the standard email button here. Okay, back to our contacts. Now, under My Prospects, we will see Mike. We will have a button here that tells us how many saved searches there are for Mike. It will tell me when he last viewed the emails that were sent to him, how many have been sent today, who it's set to notify. A is for agent, C is for client, so it's set to notify me, the agent, and the client. I can click on the magnifying glass here to view or edit the saved searches. So this will tell me there's my saved search for Mike. I can then click on another property type and do a second search and save that search and assign that to the same prospect. I can come over here under Tools and maybe I need to change his criteria. I can get the results or I can delete the search, but let's change his criteria. So every now and then somebody's like, okay, I'm getting way too many emails change my criteria, I'm not getting enough, whatever. 
So I'm going to go in here to, to edit the saved search, and we're going to change Mike's price range from 220 to 250 and that's the only change I'm going to make. Now to save this, I need to start the search, and that will bring up the properties that match that criteria. Then I need to click on Save Search Criteria and choose to overwrite the existing one. And now if I wanted to tweak or change his notification settings, I could do so. Had I chose Save as New instead of Override Existing, there would be two saved searches under Mike's name. So you always want to Override Existing when you're, when you're changing a saved search. So back to Contacts and My Prospects. You can edit the notification settings under Tools by clicking the second icon. The middle icon with the green envelope with the green exclamation point is what's called the prospect log. We're going to tell you what MLS numbers were sent to Mike, how many times he has looked at each one of those, how many times it was sent, who it was sent to, the address there, whether it was manually sent or automatically sent by the system when it was last viewed and last sent. So keep in mind, if you've got someone set up for these automatic emails and they were sent one last week and they looked at it once, and you know because the views here tells you they were sent one yesterday, they've looked at it once, they got one earlier today and they've already looked at it 20 times. So you may want to click on that MLS number, see which listing it is, and give them a call. But we will keep a record of how many times they have viewed those listings. You can also send them an email or delete a prospect. So say, for example, Mike bought a home. I could get, and he no longer needs to be set up for notifications, but I want to keep him in as a contact. So if you go to Contacts and My Prospects and click the Delete button, the red X, it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to delete the saved search criteria for Mike? So we're going to keep him as a contact, but we're going to delete his saved search. So you would say OK to that. Now, if you were under My Contacts and choose to delete Mike, everything about him will be gone, his contact and his prospect profile. So in addition to finding your contacts and prospects under Contacts, on the Navica home page, your prospects will show under My Prospects here, and we will give you a cumulative record of how many emails have been sent to them, as well as the number of times they have viewed them. So you can quickly glance to see if your contacts have received more messages as well as how many times they have been viewed. So this will conclude the Navica Contact Prospect webinar.